Martin and Gramet, uh, probably the two most successful U.S. losers in in history, and two of the longest standing losers in uh, in history. What brought you back to to go for this again? Uh, your fourth, your fifth Olympics. Well, uh, being able to compete in front of the world uh, in a sport that you love uh, is part of it. You know, it's I, I just love it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I love competing in front of the world and, and love competing itself. So uh, naturally, I'd, I'd want to go again. Yeah, I have to agree with Mark. You know, uh, given being given the opportunity to do something that you love, um, training all summer and, and really working towards competition in the winter and, and you know the enjoyment of competing against the world uh, is is one of those things that just keeps you coming back and what's different this time around I mean obviously you've you've been through the experience a number of times uh, do you feel jaded in any way oh no no um, I feel like um, it, we've been through it so many times that we, we know what to expect um, and uh, we just we're looking forward to being able to go there and compete. How much of an advantage is that when you get up there on the starting line that you're not, uh, you know, starry-eyed and uh, you don't have those uh, Olymp first-time Olympic nerves? I think it's definitely an advantage, or it's definitely something that that helps you calm yourself down and be more prepared for the race. Uh, a lot of uh, you know first-timers, they're totally starstruck. You know, walking in opening ceremonies is is one of those things that'll do that to you. And uh, having that many people around the track cheering for you gets you kind of pumped up and can get you overly nervous. Um, but once you've been there a few times, you can uh, adjust and uh, calm yourself down and focus on the race. On the other hand, uh, luge is one of those sports where you guys can compete for uh, years and years and years. A lot of your competitors are also uh, making return visits. Oh yeah, um, a lot of the guys that I've been competing against for uh, longer than a decade are there, and uh, uh, all the all the top teams are there. Uh, we're, we're all fighting against one another, and uh, we're all good friends off the track too. So it, it makes for kind of a fun race. So how has this season gone for you guys, and uh, how has it set you up for Vancouver? Well, uh, this season's been kind of a rough season for us. Uh, there, there's a few things that we've been uh, trying to work on. Uh, we've had a couple sled problems. We've had uh, some sliding things, and our start is not exactly where we want it. So uh, we, we've been, uh, there's kind of been walls thrown up in front of us uh, as we've been going along, but uh, that's, that's one of the things that, it, that I think experience helps with is that you know that you're going to push through the wall. You just got to keep pushing the wall until it breaks down. And, uh, you know, in these final days of uh, training, are there some, some little tweaks that you can make that will make a difference? Yeah, certainly there's, there's stuff to always be working on. Um, you know, it's, it's like you always hear the, 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 about the perfect wave and how nobody's ever ridden it. Well, it's the same thing in luge. It's, it's, you're always in search of the perfect run. Um, it's tough to find, and, you know, if you can just work on your form, on your aerodynamic position, on being a little more relaxed on the track, uh, being smoother with your drives, all those things, it all adds up. Do you find uh, that you guys have a role that's a little different on the team, being these long-term veterans, you know, sort of, are you, are you also there as sort of, uh, you know, the, the father figures, uh, keeping everybody calm and, and under control? Uh, I don't know about the father figures. I mean, they, they give us a hard time about being old, but... Um, Grandfather figures? Yeah, exactly. Uh, but uh, they... Um, I, I think there's a lot of stuff that we've been able to impart to our teammates uh, that'll help that helps them prepare for the game. So uh, uh, I hope that we've uh, been able to pass that along efficiently to them. Do you remember the first time you saw the Olympics and what it, yeah, you know, what clicked in you and said, "I want to do that"? Uh, well. You know, I, I, I had never heard about luge before, but um, uh, I knew about the Olympics, and uh, every kid wants to, you know, grow up and, and be able to compete in the Olympics. But um, luge kind of fell into my lap. It, uh, they started building a track across the street from where I grew up, and uh, I got involved that way. And on the uh, opposite side of the country, uh, not too much luging going on in uh, Palo Alto. No, there's there's <laughs> not, but uh, I've always been an Olympic fan. Um, I, you know, I remember being really excited about Phil and Steve Mayer when they were skiing and, and watching them ski and uh, being inspired by kind of the, the effort that goes into uh, an Olympic sport. And maybe you don't get as much recognition uh, day to day, but every four years it's, you're in the spotlight and you really get to, to take the stage and compete.
Thanks, guys, and best of luck. Thank you.